Hello, welcome to the Meet RX Success, Success Story podcast. I'm here today with uh, Coach Jan, who's the coach on Meet RX. Hello. Hi, Jan. Thank you for coming. And I know Jan wants to share her story and her success with us and let everyone know why she became a coach. So, Jan, can you begin by telling me what was life like, your health conditions, and your um, eating diet? What kind of diet did you eat before carnivore? Yeah, sure. So, I guess I can rewind all the way back to kind of childhood before, you know, the whole health journey that I've been on in general. So, when I was a kid, Growing up, I actually was like, I had really bad anxiety. So I had something called selective mutism, which is a childhood anxiety so disorder where you're basically like, you can't talk in certain situations. So um, growing up with that and looking back, um, kind of connecting that to digestive issues so with like the whole gut brain connection um so I grew up with a lot of di digestive issues so um, a lot of bloating really cro chronic constipation um just all my life like up to that point like struggling with that um so diet wise you know I grew up as you know, grew up in the 90s, so it was always the, the fun junk food, Pop-Tarts, Dunkaroos, all that fun stuff. And I remember lunch would be a sandwich and then potato chips and then always at the vending machine with candy bars. Um, so that was like my diet growing up and even like the, all the good memories growing up was like McDonald's runs with my dad and my sisters so um that that was pretty much what I knew and then going growing up more into like high school and that that's when I you know my digestive issues got worse and you know I dealt with depression more anxiety and then I had like severe acne low self-esteem all that stuff and I definitely tie that all in with diet as well. Um, so that was basically how it was pre-carnivore up until, I guess, up until I discovered like health and nutrition. Um, so then in college was when I was diagnosed with social anxiety disorder and they wanted me to take antidepressants and all that. And something in me just was like, I don't know, right? So I decided not to. And I was like, I'm going to figure out how to do this on my own and fix myself. <laughs> and so I went on this whole journey of like, how can I improve myself? Like physically, mentally, emotionally, everything. And, you know, that's tough when you aren't taking anything <laughs> as well and like so I started with the diet aspect of it but I was still kind of in that uh I guess that kind of standard way of thinking so I was kind of still in the box of like the conventional way and so I was like well okay well I'm gonna follow the food guide like as best as I can I'm gonna study nutrition and so I started taking classes and things like that but it wasn't I, I, I don't know, like at the time, I don't remember if it was actually healthy or not, because I remember studying and always eating just iceberg lettuce and like popcorn, and that was healthy. <laughs> so wow. um, that sounds really challenging what you all went through in your childhood and, and the kind of diet you had and you're, you're quite young, you look really young. And I just I think, wow, you have been through quite a bit so far already. Were there other health conditions that got worse or as um, you went along? Yeah, so then it was in 2012 that I uh, was actually diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. And what's funny is, so I, when I started noticing symptoms, 
I went to my doctor and he didn't really think much of it. And he just said, well, maybe try bran muffins. So I was like, well, okay, I'm going to eat all the bran muffins. Like I'm going to really try and do this. And um, so that didn't work, but I had um, a colonoscopy, but it wasn't for another year later. So I was like, well, what am I going to do in the meantime? Right. Um, so the bran muffins off. <laughs> didn't work obviously um so then what happened was I heard about the paleo diet from a friend and so I was like well that's like the complete opposite I'm just gonna try that so I did that for a year up until my colonoscopy and things did start to improve right and I and with that, I learned so much about health and nutrition and just everything. And I just, it just became my passion. Um, and then, so finally my appointment came a year later and they diagnosed me with ulcerative colitis. Um, they said it, it wasn't as bad. So it's actually just like ulcerative proctitis. So I was like, phew, like I'm doing the right thing, right? But they still told me that, you know, you just have to take these anti-inflammatories pretty much forever and I was like well trying to kind of play dumb and be like well does diet have anything to do with it and they were like no not really we don't know why it happens and that's just that's just how it is and I was like inside I was just like that is so wrong right so then I never I didn't go back <laughs> yeah yeah I can believe that yeah that's I, I don't know why they don't understand that, that diet. I mean, somebody doesn't understand it. They need to, to come clean with people and let them know that what they're eating does have an impact on their health. Yeah. So then since 2012, I've kind of had this like inner drive to like prove that like diet really does work. Nutrition and wellness and all this stuff really does make a difference. And so ever since then, I've been on this whole journey and, becoming a coach and everything and just trying to help other people with that. Um, yeah. So, so how, did, how did you find out about the carnivore diet and uh, how did you implement that? All right. So with the carnivore diet, um, I guess what happened was, so along like the whole wellness journey, like I also started, you know, getting into more of like health food, health products, lots of supplements. I've worked in health food stores and all that. And I believe that, so a year ago was when I had my first actual flare up. And I also believe it was probably anal fissure or something like that too, because I've never experienced that kind of pain before. And I was like, well, I'm eating really healthy. I don't drink like ever in my life I don't like what else am I supposed to do right and I'm like you know I've I did AIP so autoimmune protocol as well and so I removed eggs dairy and I was just like completely strict on all those things but then I think in the meantime I kind of slipped and I see yeah, I start to get into like the, the health branded foods so just because it was labeled organic GMO free gluten-free, whatever, I would still eat it. So that was what I was eating. A lot of the times, seed oils, stuff like that, still and <laughs> disguised as health food. But um, so I think that's what maybe contributed to my flare up that I had last year. And I did hear about the carnivore diet, but I just like didn't really think much of it. And the time too, I was really like, Around the time it started getting a little more popular, I was a big fan of Jordan Peterson and all of that. Um, but I just couldn't let go of the idea of not eating vegetables and not taking probiotics and all that stuff. Um, yeah, and then early 2019, I mean 2020, um, I saw um dr paul saladino on the doctor's show and they treated him so horribly and that was the first time i really got a glimpse of the carnivore diet and so 
I was like, wow, like, that's awful, like how this whole thing went. And I was, I just like felt for like, them on the show. And I was like, well, I'm gonna try this and like, help them prove that this works. <laughs> so it was already sold in that way. And then, um, yeah, doing that, because I had my flare up the year before as well. Um, so with that, I like, it was so bad that I couldn't even like stand sometimes for more than a couple hours. And, um, and like, I would be like sitting on a heating pad and like trying to do all these crazy things online that like, just trying to think of anything I could do. But then, so yeah, so I started the carnivore diet February of this year, 2020. And just ever since then, I've been noticing slowly like my symptoms have disappeared like every month it's gotten less and less and pain is virtually gone so i can actually do things now which is great that so. is great really wonderful and so how did you like start out with the carnivore diet did you just start eating steaks or hamburgers or how did you transition into it uh, well i started out with just ground beef and tallow and butter for the most part. Um, and I did like, it was hard to me for me to let go of like the sauerkraut still. So sometimes I was still drinking sauerkraut juice. I was like, well, I need my good gut bacteria and stuff. <laughs> so there's, that was how it kind of started. And then I started implementing more of um, yeah, animal foods that were also, you know, known to be gut, gut healthy, like, so, like, um, raw goat milk kefir, I started doing that, um, and then I started doing egg yolks as well, um, and then now adding in more steaks currently, um, yeah, so, what else am I missing? Oh, I just wondered if you had any issues either when you went when you started carnivore. Were there any ish issues that you had starting out? Yeah, in the beginning, it was I think more of the um, getting in enough fats. So yeah, I was doing mostly ground beef, but then I noticed I was like, you know, having a little bit of that fatigue. So when I added more butter in as well and more tallow and stuff like that that definitely helped with my energy and the other thing was um I was starting to get like leg cramps then yeah doing more electrolytes and um magnesium potassium things like that really helped yeah it takes a little bit of time for the body to adjust for sure and electrolytes do help in the beginning for, you know when you're getting rid of so much fluid and everything from inflammation. Yeah. So, yeah, that's really an awesome story. Can you go through each one of the symptoms or health conditions that you had and tell me how they're doing now? Uh, well, yeah, so ulcerative colitis, like I mentioned, it's just getting better and better every day. And I'm just like amazed by that. Um, anxiety and all that stuff is like well I am I'm here so I think I think that's helped, helped a lot in just with even with just motivation and focus and um just having even just mentally I just feel more there and just yeah I feel like I have more drive to do things so there's that and then um with my skin I like don't even sometimes I don't even like I'll just wash my face with water or whatever and I'll and I'll use I started making like the tallow creams for like my skin and like my hair just won't stop growing so yeah so it's been great yeah that's awesome yeah you look really good your your skin looks beautiful and your hair is also gorgeous <laughs> so um can you tell me, since you're a coach on Meet Our X and people might want to come and, 
and talk with you. Can you give me your basic coaching philosophy? For sure. So I really believe that like every person is an individual, right? So even if, you know, we're all doing a similar diet, carnivore diet, it may slightly differ for every person. And uh, depending on you know, your lifestyle and personality, everything, you know, what might work for one person might not work for another. So definitely for me, it's definitely understanding and having a connection with a client is something that I really um, try to emphasize myself. Um, and the other thing is holistically. So it's like also forgot to mention that I did also go to nutrition school through my whole journey before and so it's like holistically I try to look at not only diet because you can have the perfect diet but mentally emotionally spiritually if we connect that all together then it's really all about living your best life regardless of what it is that you're eating as well right so definitely tying in all those things um is is part of my philosophy yes that's great great philosophy you have you seem like you have a passion for health and to help people with their health and you're just very sweet to talk to oh, <laughs> also, thank you. you're welcome um can you tell me like like what a typical day looks like for you with your eating do you eat one meal a day two meals a day and what do you how much pounds of meat do you eat um I think it varies every day. Um, I was fasting before, but I found that I was losing too much weight and I like would get tired. So um, now I will usually have a later breakfast and that'll usually be yeah, egg yolks with goat milk kefir, um, ground beef, um, I don't really count how much. I just kind of eat to fullness. Um, and then lunch, would, like <laughs> I guess, would be the same thing. Or I would, like, cook up a steak and then eat it with some butter. And then lately I've been doing, um, like, a hollandaise sauce. And um, depending on my mood, too, sometimes I'll add in maybe some seafood, some shrimp. And I'll also add in liver and different things. Um, I also like trying new things. So I've tried making like um, beef tongue, which now I really love and other things. So, um, but mostly every day it's like, yeah, ground beef and steak with whatever um, kefir or other butter, dairy and egg yolks. Yeah. That sounds great. So do you exercise at all? Yeah, I did. Well, I did more like in the beginning, like like the last few months, I was, I was working out a lot more. But I noticed with um, with that, like I think it was because it, what I have is like ulcerative proctitis. So it was like, you know, maybe I need to lay off the squats a little bit. And so actually when I stopped working out too much and not doing as much of that, I think that also gave me a lot of time to heal. And another thing I added in collagen and I think that accelerated the process as well so I hope to start working out more as like as like I start healing more and more because I do really want to <laughs> but yeah. I have yeah. to tell myself no not yet it's okay <laughs> right right you do have to give time for your body to heal and yeah. and eating meat is so healthy and gets you so strong and does help to heal and yes you gotta wait sometimes yeah. but um that is great thank you so much did you um have anything that surprised you that changed in carnivore um, after you started eating carnivore i think it's just that like i was hesitant at first to like eat like just meat but like i'm not tired of it at all i and like <laughs> Yeah, and people are like, wouldn't you, like, get bored? Like, is that all? And, like, I don't feel deprived. I don't feel anything, really. So, yeah. That's yeah, you're just nourishing your body with, with yeah. nutrient-dense 
foods. And so that's really, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Jan, for sharing your whole journey with us. And is there anything that you would want to tell someone that has ulcerative colitis or proctitis that, you know, if they were concerned and not sure if they should try the carnivore diet, do you have any advice for them? Yeah, I would say, you know, if, if you want to give it a go, like, why not try it? I, there's so many people that have seen results doing carnivore diet with like Crohn's ulcerative colitis. Um, so yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah, give it a shot. That, that's, that's a good idea. So um, I'll be seeing you around uh, the Meet RX coaching community. Thank you so much again. Yeah, thanks for having me. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye.